Hi, I'm Pete from Citation. I'm going to talk to you today about how to be outstanding when it comes to managing your staff. I think as we all know, staff form the cornerstone of any business that you run and particularly now in care with an ageing population and a growing demand for care services, we're only ever going to see an increase in the need for good, compassionate, highly skilled care workers. The cornerstone of what you do as a business, as I've said, and they're also the cornerstone of potentially your regulatory score. You can't really do too much as a business owner or manager without your staff being on board and behind you. So I'm going to talk to you about how you can maybe get a little step closer to being an outstanding uh, manager of your staff. Firstly, I think with any staff, uh, it starts with the recruitment and the, and the journey into the business. Obviously, for recruitment, you need to cover the basics such as um, are there any gaps on their CV, their eligibility to live and work in the UK, are they DBS checked, etc. I'm going to take that as a bit of a given you know that, but also think about the values of your business and how your job adverts and your job descriptions sing out those values. Think about the good people you already have in your business and how they would act as role models and how do you find more of them. Really get across what your business is about in any sort of interview, advert or interaction with potential employees. It's really, really important. The next thing, once you've got an employee through the door and you're happy that they're the right fit for you, is think about the training and support you give them. Now they might be covering something like the care certificates in terms of the black and white of what they've got to be able to do in their job, but actually it's really important to make sure they have regular supervision, regular feedback. Even from an early stage you put appraisals in place. Let them know what they're doing well and let them know what you need to work on with them in order to get better. Try and match the skills of what you've got in your business to the people there. It's not always about you teaching them how to do it. It could be about colleagues or other members of staff helping them to do it as well. I think as a minimum though, in a care setting, you need to make sure that everybody is fully conversant in safeguarding, manual handling, mental capacity act, and so on. Very important that those basics are in place. Sounds obvious again, but when it comes to people, make sure you've got the right number of people in your home. You know, and that matches 24 seven to the needs of the dependents that you're looking after. So for example, make sure you've got the right number of staff at night, make sure you've got the right number of staff in the morning, and make sure that your workforce is aware of that and therefore flexible and agile to your needs. If you explain that to staff, and particularly if you explain it in the interview and onboarding process, you're more likely to have them open to the idea of being flexible at short notice. Staff also need to know the rules of work. Are the clear policies and procedures in place? Do staff know what they need to do if they're going to be sick or late for work? Do they know the policies and procedures you have around fundamental things such as safeguarding? But not only do they know it, is it regularly communicated out? Is it clear and easy to understand? If you had somebody come in at short notice on a temporary basis, could they quickly identify and understand your rules of work? It's not about being complicated or onerous, it's just common sense about setting the groundwork for staff to work easily, quickly and efficiently for you. Alongside that, I think it's really important to engage with staff. At the end of the day, they are your business. So take the time to maybe survey them, ask them for feedback, get their views and opinions. Be prepared to the fact that they might not see the job the same as you or they don't think that you were quite doing things in the right way. That's okay enter into the dialogue. And if there are things that you can do differently or you can do to improve their working conditions, action them. Little things go a long way. Similarly, things like employee of the month scheme, recognition and rewards, buying staff lunch, doesn't have to be something that costs thousands and thousands of pounds. Just taking some time to say, somebody's done a good job and this is why. Particularly if that really underpins the values and visions of where you're going with your business. Finally, I would say make sure that they know the people they're caring for. This is, a, this is a human to human environment that you're operating in. So the people that they're looking after, do they know them? Do they know what they like? Do they know their preferences? Do they know their history? It's all really important. That allows them to feel involved in what they're doing and not see their job as that, just a job. In a similar way, I'd say as managers and owners of, of care provision, I challenge you to say, do you know your staff in that way? Do you know them? Do you know their history? Do you know what they like? Do you know where they come from? Because if you can hit that, then you really have got good engagement, good understanding, and you're on the way to being outstanding.